What about the design of life? Do we also see evidence of careful planning and an overall harmony between living things? Our world is filled with marvels of creation, each wonderfully unique. Yet, as we have considered, all living organisms have something fundamental in common, our DNA blueprint. From these incredibly tiny molecules come all the complexity and diversity of life. But even beyond the physical appearance, behaviors, abilities, and instincts of individual organisms, DNA spells out the potential for amazing interactions between different creations. The more we observe the natural world around us, the more we begin to see an underlying harmony emerging from the design of life. For example, many flowering plants produce nectar which serves as a food for insects and other animals. But the benefit is not one-sided. As bees drink nectar from a flower, they're dusted with tiny grains of pollen and carry these to other flowers of the same kind. Many flowering plants and trees depend on this pollination to reproduce. Yes, by wonderful design, bees, plants, animals, and humans all benefit from this relationship. Hidden beneath the soil, we find another beneficial relationship between plants and fungus. Since they are unable to produce their own food, certain fungi infect the roots of plants and absorb carbohydrates from their host. But instead of being harmful, the fungus can actually help the plant. The filaments of the fungus provide a much greater surface area to absorb minerals and water, which are shared with the plant. Additionally, the fungus can extend into soil that is inaccessible to the roots of the plant. With this assistance, the plant is able to take in more nutrients from the soil, grow faster, and better tolerate extreme conditions. Virtually all plants benefit from this type of helpful relationship with fungus. In the depths of the oceans, we find more alliances between different kinds of creatures. Some very unexpected. Groups of large fish gather in areas where smaller, cleaner fish assist them by removing dead skin and parasites from the visitors. Under other circumstances, the larger fish might eat the smaller ones. But at these cleaning stations, the large fish allow themselves to be attended to. Most fish avoid the stinging tentacles of the sea anemone, but the clownfish makes a home right in among them. A special coating on its skin protects the clownfish from being stung. In this way, the clownfish is safe from predators. In return, the clownfish may share food with the anemone and provide protection against anemone-eating fish. Elsewhere, a goby fish and a shrimp live together in the shrimp's burrow. To protect its nearly blind host, the goby stands guard and taps the shrimp with its tail to warn of danger. These are just a few examples of the interconnections we see all around us when we look more closely at the natural world. How do these instinctively wise creatures know to form partnerships with others so different from themselves? Somehow, the potential for these relationships is recorded within the DNA of each one. Yes, life is not just a random collection of individual creations, but rather a marvelously orchestrated masterpiece of design. Each living thing plays its part in perfect harmony with others around it, joining together in the magnificent symphony of life. To learn more about creation is to gaze and wonder at design and engineering far superior to anything mankind has devised. It is to catch a glimpse of the mind of the master designer, Jehovah God. You are worthy, Jehovah, to receive the glory and the honor and the power because you created all things.